And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. It's Vitoria Guimaraes facing Porto. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Well, here's the starting 11 for Porto. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. And they kick off here. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Sergio Oliveira. Mehdi Tarami. Otavio. Moving the ball effectively. Can he put them in front? But it can't get through. And over comes the corner. Possession changing hands. Pradeshma. Can he finish here? Pivotal moment defensively. Marega. Porto have given it away. Well, terrific skill. Can he give them the advantage? Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And there's the feed into the box. No-nonsense clearance. Porto couldn't hang on to it. They're really pressing their opponents. Bruno Duarte. That's a wonderful block from Pepe. Taremi. Uribe. Now can they make something happen? Oh, lovely incisive pass. Can they put it away? And able to close down the shot. Can he finish this? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Over it comes. Not to be this time. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly.
Porto are in control of this game, certainly over the last 15 minutes. If they keep this pressure on, you feel a goal will come. Keep calm, no panic, just a little bit more quality in front of the goal. Mateo Suribe, not a very complicated catch for the keeper. No, high quality defending. Marega. Can he take advantage? Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get their due reward. Well, here's the replay, and Derek, if you get caught on the ball there, you should be fined a week's wages. It's terrible, and he's punished. Some explaining to be done to his coach, I feel. Opening goal of the game, then. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Andre, Andre. Really good challenge. Mehdi Tarami. Ball lost by Porto. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, you're right, he has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Oh, good skill and he's managed to beat his man. Andre, Andre. Pepe Lu. Well, couldn't keep it. Dennis Will Poa. Quaresma. Jesus Corona. A bit of running room now on the wing. Shot attempted. Rochinha. Really good high press. Marega. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Duarte. Did well to win the ball back. Oh, a lovely ball. Great opportunity. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. It's going their way, 2-0. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And it might be. Keeper did his job to begin with. Quaresma, an important interception. 
Fantastic possession stats for Porto. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. Poa and showing fine vision. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Careless in possession. Rochinha. Chance to cross. Could be a chance to break here. Oh, terrific pass. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Marega. And it's a quality pass. He might yet finish. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Pepelu. On the ball, Quaresma. Oh, nice ball. Moving into the advanced position. Gideon Mensa. Pepelu. But it can't get through. Has eyes for goal. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, he's gone for pure power. And why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. Well, they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.